That's just not gonna work for me. Hello there and welcome to Gifted Guitars, the show where I teach myself how to build guitars and then I give them away to people that, that I know. That's what we're doing. If this is your first ever episode from my channel, then you're right in the middle of a build and typically I tell you to go back and watch the beginning of the build, but today you could start here if you wanted and then go back and rewatch those. It, it, it's totally up to you because it's not so much about the guitar today, it's about the case that I'm gonna ship this guitar in. If you haven't been following along, I am building a 335 style guitar in a West Side Story theme for Rachel Ziegler. She's gonna be playing Maria in the new West Side Story movie coming out, directed by Steven Spielberg. And usually when I gift a guitar, I am there. I am there in person, I give them the guitar, they open it up and we're all together and it's a, a great time. She is somewhere else. <laughs> she is in another state, so we will not be able to do that. We'll still interact and we'll, you'll still get to see her open it, but it, it's gonna be a little different format. I'll explain that further on down the line. The point that I'm trying to make here is that I have to ship this guitar. It's a delicate thing, a guitar. So I wanted to ship it in something that was nice and solid. Gator cases is uh, what I decided to go with. I thought that that would be a nice fit. This one is made for a 335 style guitar, so it fits nicely in it. The problem is, it's a unique guitar. It is really different and, and I think beautiful and, and I put a lot of work into it. And to just ship it in, this seems, it doesn't seem right. We've gotta do something to have this match the guitar better. And I was inspired recently by a, a video I was watching on Disney and how they will let their artists kind of free flow, come up with all sorts of ideas, get really far into the project, and then go a completely different direction with it. But that initial idea tends to stick around and becomes a part of something new later on down the road. And I think it's sort of a recycling of good ideas, like they don't have to come up with a whole new idea, but it, it also has another thing that I think is really interesting to it. The idea that none of your ideas are wasteful. The Imagineers at Disney, at least in the video that I watched, are encouraged to be creative and to have confidence in the fact that even if their idea doesn't get picked in the final theming or the final product, that it could come back someday down the line. And I feel like that, that lifts so much pressure off of them. And I'm taking inspiration from that because when I first started designing this guitar, I had a completely different design in my head. Originally, I was going to base it off of this ladder scene, this sort of fire escape dancing scene. That This is iconic. Everybody knows this as the classic West Side Story poster. At least I think they do. That's what I think of when I think of West Side Story. Throughout the whole process of building the guitar, staining the guitar, painting the guitar, I was trying to figure out a way of incorporating this just a little bit because it's, it's the past and I feel like having an homage to the past within something that is new is, it's cool. I like, I like doing stuff like that and I like seeing stuff like that. So I was trying to figure out a way of incorporating this and I think it would look really cool on this case. So today, we are going to do some masking on this and do a fun painting project with the guitar case that I will be sending the West Side Story guitar in and uh, just make it a little special, a little more special. My plan is to do some spray painting on here just with white and red and I have taken this part of the image and blown it up and it should go right across here just like this. So I need to mask this out, and to do that, I'm going to trace this onto the guitar case so I can see what I'm doing. I've used this before on this channel. This is a contact paper, like a white contact paper, and if I rub across it with this, it's just a stylus, there's no ink or anything, then it will leave a mark. It's a really faint mark, but it's there.
All right, I sprayed this last night, and now that I see it in the daylight, I think it's a little too red. I wanna take it down a little bit. So I'm gonna use some black around the edges and just sort of make it more of a like a burst and sort of take it down around the edges here. So that's my plan. Let's go do it. This has dried, it's time to take the masking tape off. I'm glad I put the black on there. I feel like it, it just kind of tamed it a little bit, made it a little more subtle, a little more interesting. So, let's see, once we take the tape off, how it all looks together. This should be cool. I'm hoping that this looks cool. hope that that was as satisfying for you as it was for me like pulling the tape off and and seeing the design show up was like I don't know it was really cool to me <laughs> I enjoyed that all right now I've got to remask it so that only the areas that I want white or kind of grayish will show up it's kind of a tricky thing very meticulous let's get started with it All right, there it is. Uh, I like it. It turned out like classier than I thought it was going to. I thought I was gonna have to like put paint splatter on it, make it look like, oh, street art, cool. Cause I would have messed something up and had to like make it look like I did it on purpose. But it actually turned out pretty, <laughs> pretty, I don't know, professional looking. It's a cool like stencil look and I like it a lot. You don't often get the like custom paint job on the guitar case, so this is like, this is a cool little thing. I think it adds to the overall gift. There is one last thing I would like to do with the case before I finish up today, and that is to make it really secure for shipping. Cases are pretty good at protecting guitars in a closet or under a bed, but when it comes to shipping, you really need to make it so that the guitar can't wiggle at all, because if it wiggles, it's going to bump, and if it bumps, it could potentially break. So, 
I have to do a little bit of modifications on the inside of this case to make it fit perfectly. All right, so this is the guitar going into the case. Fits really well this way. There's no, no wiggle here, but there is some wiggle right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut out a piece of foam that's gonna fit right in here and kind of keep it from being able to do this wiggle motion. For this project, I'm doing a little like money saving hack that I did on my mom's guitar case, which is to buy a blanket to line it with. I've found this fabric online and it's way more expensive to buy it by the foot than it is to just get a blanket and like mess with a pre-made blanket. Like the blankets are so inexpensive. So I have this little throw blanket and we're gonna use it to cover this and make it look like what the inside of the guitar case looks like. All right, it's pretty snug in there now, but I'm not feeling any slippage at all. So I think that this is a job well done. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. This was a nice little in-between project while I wait for the lacquer to dry on the guitar. Um, I say dry, I mean like harden and cure. It's, it's already dry. It just needs to cure before I can do any of the buffing, which I'll be doing next week. In the past, Every time I buff a guitar, I mess something up. I, I don't wanna say I ruined the guitar, but I, I definitely didn't hit the mark that I had in my heart to hit. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, we're, we're gonna do it this time. I think so. I think there's a good chance. And I have some ideas on how to fix it if I don't, if I, if I mess it up. But the only way to know if I succeed is to tune in next week to see me buff the guitar. I'm also probably gonna do some electrical work. We'll see how far we get with it. I'm really excited about this build. It's turning into something really nice. It's, I, I feel like with the case, it's becoming like this complete piece. I'm really excited to give to Rachel. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. It, it really does mean a lot to me. I've always admired it when people spray paint and stencil stuff onto their luggage. I just think it's cool. It makes it unique. It makes it theirs. And this is the first time I've ever really done it on, on a piece of, I mean, this isn't, luggage per se, but you could use it as luggage. This is the first time I've ever really attempted to do it on something that was kind of like luggage. And I want to know in the comment section if you are going to spray paint something or have someone spray paint something onto your luggage, what would you want on it? What what would what would say you? What would make you happy if you were at the airport and and your suitcase came down the ramp to see? What would that what would that be? Tell me in the comment section. I really do appreciate anybody that hits the like button on my videos, that leaves a comment, and that has subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you're watching the videos, please subscribe. It's a great free way for you to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>